Welcome friends in this tutorial. I am Gasbawi Muhammad Al Amin, and today I show you how we can solve knapsack problem using greedy algorithm. And finally, we try to implement the solution using Java languages. So first, what we meant about knapsack problem. A knapsack problem is a problem in combinatorial optimization. For more understanding, I gave you this example. In this example, we have seven objects from zero to six. Each object has its profit and its weight. So the problem is which objects I choose for maximum profit and the summation of objects less or equals 15. So we try to solve the problem using greedy algorithm. After that, we pass into experimental part. The first step, we try to divide each profits object by its weights as we see in the last row in the table I take the maximum number in this case is 6 so I take the fourth object and I kept his profits and weights as we see and I pass in the second maximum number. In our case, this column for I take the zero object as we see, and I add the old weights into new weights. So one plus two is three. Three is less than 15. I pass into third maximum number this column I take the object number 5 and its profits and weights so the summation is 1 plus 2 plus 4 is 7 7 less than 15 I continue this procedure until the summation is less or equals maximum weights so this is the algorithm I initialize the sum variable by 0 and I variable by 0 weights is a table from 0 to 6 table contains the weights of each object and tab contains P divided by W of each object and here we have while loop while sum less than or equals maximum weights I do this operation sum equals sum plus weights maximum and this maximum and this return the maximum and this and replace it by minus one after that I increment the I let's move into experimental part you will find the project below the video so this is the project I create a class greedy algo I create three vector the first vector for objects and the second profits and the third weights this is the maximum weights float variable and this is a string variable contains the final result this is the constructor I initialize its vector and I create here seven objects this is the number objects it is an input variable after that this is the solve method I create a fraction vector this vector contains each profit by its weight 
in this loop I calculate the profit by the weight here I create a loop the maximum object profit receive get in this max fraction so let's move into get and this max so this is to get and this max I calculate the maximum and this and here I replace the maximum number by minus one because all weights objects are more than zero I receive the maximum and this in this line I add the old weights plus the newest weights and I put the result into temp variable I compare this temp variable by the maximum weights if the condition is very the sum weights receive the temp and I add this object into object vector after that I calculate the summation of profits after while loop not true I pass in this line in this line we try to show the final result and the solve method return a vector this vector contains the objects I create with the frame window contains a table and the number of objects and the maximum weights so solve a greedy algorithm double click so here first I initialize the vector because weights and profits are the vector I read the value from gtext field number objects and the maximum weights and after that I call the solve method here we have read table method to fill the vector so let's run so let's try this example number of objects we have seven objects maximum weights 15 and the weight we have two three five seven one four one and here three eighteen six seven fifteen five and ten solve greedy this is the result the objects are for zero five two six as we see here and the summation of weights is 13 and the profits is 52 in the next video we try to solve this problem using dynamic programming and see the difference between greedy algorithm and dynamic programming